Good morning, fourth graders. It's great to see you again, and I'm excited to do some reading with you. Today, as usual, you will need a piece of paper and a pencil or a pen and something hard to write on. So please pause the video and go ahead and get those things. Excellent. So readers, last week when we met together, we read Pepe the Lamplighter and we made inferences about how Pepe was feeling. I want you to think, what do you remember about inferring? Okay, great. Well, let's look at our chart. We know that inferences are clues from the text plus what you already know, your own experiences, equal an inference, what an author has not stated directly in the text. So, readers, this week, our goal is cont to continue making inferences. We are going to make inferences about Pepe's personality. Those are called personality traits. So we can infer personality traits by thinking about what a character says, what a character does, and how a character acts. Those things all together will tell us about Pepe's personality. So let's do it. I'm going to share my screen with you and I want you to get ready to write. Okay, so I would like you to Title your piece of paper, Pepe's personality. Go ahead. Okay, great. Now that you have that written, I want you to think. What do you know about Pepe's personality? And I'll give you an example. I know that Pepe is serious. I know that he has a serious personality because he takes his job of lamplighter very serious. Uh, his mother has died and his father is sick. So he is supporting them, supporting the whole family the father and all the sisters. So I know he has a very serious personality because he shows up to light the lamps. So I want you to think about other parts of Pepe's personality. Think about what he says, what he does, and how he acts. And I want you to go ahead and list other words that make you think of his personality. Go ahead. Okay, excellent. I'm sure that you came up with some great ideas. Now, readers, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you um, an excerpt, which you remember is a small part of this text, Pepe the Lamplighter. And we are going to read that excerpt together and then we're going to pick out a couple of parts of that text that we can use to help us infer Pepe's personality traits. Here we go.
Excerpt from Pepe the Lamplighter. Once when Pepe got home, Papa was watching from the window. You belong to the streets, he shouted. Pepe sat on the stoop way past his bedtime, then cried himself to sleep when no one would hear. In the morning, his shoulders drooped just a little. Hey, Pepe, don't look so sad, Fat Mary teased, and Pepe tried not to, but Papa stayed angry. You'll never amount to anything, he grumbled. Guila took Pepe's hand in hers. Don't worry about it, she told him. Pepe, look up when you walk, Nicolina reminded him as he left for work. Pepe tried, but when he came home, Papa turned away. I don't even want to look at you. You make me so ashamed, he said. You never play with me anymore, Pepe, said Asunta. Pepe just lowered his eyes and didn't answer. And from then on, he rushed through the lighting of the lamps, sometimes forgetting which was which. It's a stupid job, he said to himself, and he began to imagine that the people of the neighborhood laughed behind his back. Soon, he would not show his face outside the tenement. And one night, the streets of Little Italy were dark. Where is Pepe the lamplighter? said the people to one another. Excellent readers. I'm going to go back up to the highlighted text. I'm going to read the text and I want you to think. What does this text tell us about Pepe's personality? Pepe sat on the stoop way past his bedtime, then cried himself to sleep when no one would hear. In the morning, his shoulders drooped just a little. Okay. Readers. Let's do a little inferring about Pepe's character traits or what his personality is like. Now, before we start, I need to make sure that you know that personality traits are not feelings. So Pepe is sad, but that's not a trait because he's sometimes sad, like when his father is yelling at him, and sometimes he's happy, like when he finds a Sunta. So that's not a trait. A trait is something that he is all the time to describe his personality. Okay, so in that line of text, Pepe cried himself to sleep. And Pepe's shoulders drooped a little. All right, so these are actions of Pepe's. He's crying and his shoulders are drooping. Now I'm thinking as a reader, Okay, why is this happening? Well, I remember that his father is ashamed of him. His father says, you belong to the streets. And so I can imagine that that's why he's crying and that's why his shoulders are drooping. Now, I could describe that as sad, but that is a feeling. So, I'm thinking more that he is just defeated, that part of his personality is defeated. He's feeling like there's nothing he can do to change.
forever to change how his father feels about him and his job as a street lamp lighter. So part of his personality is that he's defeated. And hmm, it's hard to think of a character like Pepe as defeated because we like him so much. But that's, how, that's, that's part of his personality, that he's just feeling like, oh, I wish I could change this relationship with my father, but I can't. So defeated. Let's read another line of text. I'm excited to hear what you think about this one and what trait you think it describes in Pepe's personality. I'm going to share my screen again. Okay, I'm going to go to the next part of highlighted text, which is here. And he began to imagine that the people of the neighborhood laughed behind his back. I want you to think what word would describe Pepe's personality if he's thinking that people are laughing behind his back. Think. Turn and talk. Okay, readers, here we go. So we know that this is a thought that Pepe is having. He is thinking that people are laughing behind his back. Now, I'm thinking, all right, as a powerful reader, I need to figure out if I know what it means to do something behind someone else's back. And I know that sometimes when someone is laughing, they're doing it when the person that they're laughing about can't hear them. So they're doing it with friends or with neighbors. They're laughing at people behind that person's back when that person can't hear them. So this is what Pepe thinks is happening. He doesn't know that it's happening. He thinks it's happening. So what does that tell me as a reader about his personality? Well, since he's not sure if people are laughing behind his back, but he's thinking that, hmm, I bet that Pepe is unsure of himself. So I'm gonna write that. He's unsure of himself because he thinks maybe people are laughing at him but he doesn't know that for sure. So he's not feeling very confident right now. So readers, we have two character traits of, per, of Pepe. He feels defeated because his father keeps, um, keeps yelling at him and he's not sure he can ever change that relationship with his father. And then he feels unsure of himself because he feels like people are laughing at him. So, readers, today we inferred about Pepe's personality. And powerful readers make 
inferences about characters' personalities so that they can understand the characters better and understand why a character thinks or feels or not feels. No, what am I talking about? Thinks, why a character, what a character thinks about and what a character, um, how a character acts. All right, great. So leaders, this week, what you are gonna be doing is you are gonna take a quiz on inference. And that quiz you can find in the calendar part of Schoology. So instead of going to your OneNote notebook for reading this week, you're gonna be taking a quiz on inference. For IDR, I want you to be thinking about the characters that you're reading about in your own independent reading book. And I want you to be thinking about how you could describe those characters' personalities. Bye for now, fourth graders.